Hey folks, I've got another app pick for you today, but don't worry, it's not Paste Bin. But for those of you that have been around in the Linux community for any length of time, will be familiar with this service. Basically, Paste Bin allows you to convey long text messages, often uh, to do with code or console commands, across to anyone. Uh, it effectively gives that message a URL. So if I type hello, for example, into this new paste and I click create, create new paste, there are some other parameters there, but you just click create new paste it will give you a url as you can see at the top of the screen there and it'll give you the raw paste data and it'll give you the code and all that kind of stuff so what you can then do is you can copy that url and then you can share it with other people to show maybe an output of a, a application an error message or um or, or well, it's been used for all manner of things, but it is effectively a way of just publishing some plain text out there on the internet in a very efficient and simple manner. It's effectively a very simple solution to a very simple problem, and I really quite like that. However, paste bin is not open source, and as this channel does tend to favour open source applications, uh, I went out and had a look at what the open source alternatives were to Pastebin. I did this quite some time ago, but there were two that really took my fancy, and I'm going to be sharing them with you today. The first is Hastebin. Now, Hastebin is a much has a much more minimalist UI than Pastebin. But uh, yeah, Hastebin, it works exactly the same way. Uh, I've got myself some text here. I've in fact just done a little, little website called Chris is kind of okay. Um, and you've got a few controls over here. Um, you can share to Twitter. I, I've not tried that one. Uh, you can, uh, well, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is I've just gone to Hastebin and put that text in and we can do save. So if we click save, it'll put it into, it'll give us a URL, as you can see in the URL bar at the top of the screen there, but it will also uh, color the code, which I, I think is, is quite nice. And it will do it sort of uh, automatically, which is which is kind of cool. Um, with Hastebin, you can and are often encouraged to host the application yourself on your own infrastructure. And this adds, of course, to things like the decentralization of web services, which is something that uh, that I generally think is a really good idea, truth be told. Now, it does require JavaScript to run, but other than that, it's a really cool bit of kit. Now, my second uh, paste bin counterpart is called dpaste. And the reason that I have uh, brought this to you today is because dpaste does not require JavaScript to use. It is a very similar to haste bin in that it's a very simple layout and um, it is also open source. But this just, just simply doesn't require JavaScript. So for those of you that like to minimize your use of JavaScript or, or typically browse the internet with JavaScript turned off as default, well, dpaste is probably uh, a good web app and a good alternative to paste bin. So uh, yeah, it's uh, not a particularly advanced or long-winded app pick this week, but um, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, to let you guys know of these two rather um, useful uh, alternatives to paste bin. So you've got haste bin available at hastebin.com and you've got dpaste available at dpaste.com. De. I will, of course, as always, put those links down in the description. And if you are interested in more of these kind of app picks, uh, then you can find many more on my website, which is, of course, a NeoCities website. NeoCities, an open source web hosting platform for people that like to code in HTML directly. And if you go to uh, chrisware.neocities.org forward slash links.html, you can also click to it just by going to the uh, the uh, NeoCities website itself, so you can go to chrisware.neocities.org and then you can click on to the uh, the interesting web apps link that's on the top in the contents. Uh, and then, yeah, you've got a small contents at the top here and you, can, you have a long list, which I keep updated of useful and uh, interesting web apps. There is a small uh, section here for closed source web apps because, well, sometimes um, they are necessary. So I think that's about it for me today, but thank you guys very much for watching uh, and um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on uh, both Hastebin and Dpaste, and if you've got any other recommendations of similar style web apps. But uh, that's about it for me t today. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.